I am Professor Elvi Gaikwad, who has come in front of you with a new lecture. The lecture is on spoken English, and the topic is gerund. The topic is gerund or the dummy subject or the verbal noun. The gerund is called the dummy subject because it is not actually the subject, but it is. The dummy subject means it works of the subject, but it is not actually the subject. Means it is the artificial or it is the dummy subject. Means it is not actually the subject, and it is also called the verbal noun. Verbal noun we can call it because it is made from the verbs. The gerund is made. from the verbs and that's why it is called the verbal noun so we can say that we can add ing suffix to the main verb and then the gerund is there or we can make the gerund or the verbal noun listen carefully if we want to make the gerund then we can make this gerund with the help of the ing suffix it means that we can add the ing suffix to the main verb and then we can get the gerund or the verbal noun how it is possible we will see it with the examples see gerund or verbal nouns we can create we can make with the help of the examples and the examples are the main verb is work and the suffix is ing uh, listen here work plus ing work w o r k work plus ing it became working working or working this working is the gerund or the verbal noun second verb is r e a d read read plus ing suffix it became reading so the reading is the gerund reading is the verbal noun jump is the verb jump plus ing suffix e is equal to jumping so this jumping is the gerund so it is very clear here that we can make the gerunds with the help of the ing suffix it means that we can add finally the main verb the ing suffix it means that main verb plus ing suffix e is equal to a gerund remember the gerund becomes from the verb so it is said that the gerund is made from the verb or the gerund we can we can we can prepare the gerund from the verbs means the verbs can make the gerunds but remember the gerunds are made with the help of the main verbs and ing suffix means main verb plus ing suffix is equal to the gerund and this gerund works as an noun sorry as a noun so remember the gerund works as a noun so this gerund is called a verbal noun verbal noun because it works as the verb as the noun as the noun and so it is called the verbal noun because it is created from from the verbs and it works as the noun so it is called the verbal noun this gerund is a noun in short in short means finally we can say that the gerund is the noun in the sentence for example here we will say playing cricket is a good hobby listen very carefully that playing cricket is a good hobby 
it means that the gentleman has the hobby of playing cricket and that's why that hobby is called the good hobby so remember here in this sentence the subject is playing because the gerund has come here as the subject playing cricket so playing what playing cricket playing cricket means playing is the subject here and cricket is the object or i will say complement here of this playing subject and here playing is the gerund and this gerund is working as the subject here and playing cricket is a good hobby that is the example so remember here i will tell you that this uh, playing is a noun here because we can we can uh, speak or we can write this sentence like this that 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 playing cricket is the activity playing cricket is the process so we can say it is a good hobby what is a good hobby it is a good hobby so this it means playing cricket this it means playing cricket so playing cricket is a good hobby and it is a good hobby these two examples are the same examples so playing cricket is the gerund and it is also the subject and playing cricket is also the subject so that's why it is very clear that it is also the subject and playing cricket and it both are the nouns and here playing cricket is working as the noun because it is the noun you will say how it is the noun i will say it means a book it means a chair it means a table so table is a noun chair is a noun and that's why here it is a good hobby and playing cricket is a good hobby so playing cricket means it and it means playing cricket and that's why here playing cricket is the noun and it word it is also a noun the second example is given here and it is she likes writing poems remember she is the subject here likes is the verb here it is the simple present tense and writing poems is the process of writing poems and this process is we can uh, talk in the in the in the in the different sentence uh, like this that she likes it she likes it and this it means she likes it it means she likes writing poems she likes writing poems means she likes it and this it means writing poems and this writing poems means it and it means writing poems and it is the noun here and so i will tell here you tell here you that the gerund is actually a noun and so here in this sentence also writing poems is the noun see we are discussing now about the use uses of the gerund means how the gerund is used see the gerund is used as the subject of the sentence means the gerund comes as the subject of the sentence means it works it works as the subject in the sentence uh, for example uh, playing is good playing is a gerund and playing is good so playing is good we can we can uh, we can discuss this sentence like this playing is good means he is good she is good so he is good she is good means he and she are the are 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 the subject here and so playing is good it means that we can compare uh, he is good she is good and that's why here it is very clear that the gerund has worked here as the subject of the sentence because this playing has come in place of the subject means as the head of the subject here but it is not actually the subject the subject is he she it is not the subject and that's why we can say it is the dummy subject here 
because this playing is doing the work of the subject he or she and that's why it is called the dummy subject here the gerund is an object of a verb in the sentence there is the verb and this gerund comes as as the object of the verb as the object of the verb means the gerund is the object of the verb see children like eating bananas children is the subject like is the verb and eating bananas means children like children like what children like eating bananas eating bananas so eating is the object of the verb like and bananas is the complement or helping word to the gerund and that's why here it is very clear that the gerund is an object of a verb with the help of this sentence the gerund comes as the object of the preposition it means that in the in the sentence there is the object and this gerund works as the object of the preposition so remember here the example is i am fond of worshiping morals so here i am fond of worshiping morals here i am fond of means i am interested in worshiping morals means i is the subject am fond of is the verb and worshiping is the gerund and morals is the helping word there so i will explain here that of is the preposition and after this of the gerund has come here and that's why it is very clear that the gerund works as the object of the preposition then the gerund is the complement of the verb means the gerund comes in the sentence and it works as the complement of the verb so i will give you the example the example is writing is learning writing is learning see writing is a learning what is writing writing is learning so this learning is the complement and this is the complement because it is after the be verb am is are was were these are the be helping verbs or main verbs and it is after this is after this be verb and that's why learning is here the complement of the verb is the gerund comes as a complement of the sentence the sentence is there and in the sentence in the sentence the gerund becomes the complement of the subject of the subject so see our aim is building up our aim is building up a good college the subject is our aim is is the verb building up is the gerund and a good college is the noun or i will say good is the adjective and college is the common noun so remember here this uh, uh, subject is our aim and building up is the complement of the subject our aim is what is our aim our aim is building up our aim is building up so this building up is the gerund and it is working as the complement of the subject our aim the gerund comes to prepare the joint nouns remember the gerund makes the joint nouns the gerund makes the compound nouns compound words so i will say dining table dining is the gerund and dining table the table which is used for dining so dining table remember dining room dining hall dining chair in this way we can make the joint nouns or we can make the compound words here and second is playing bat playing boy playing girl playing uh, playing uh, calf playing cow 
in this way we can we can we can make the particular here the uh, gerunds or here i will say dining is the gerund playing is the gerund and this gerund has made the joint nouns or this gerund has made here the compound nouns or compound words so here i will i will stop here before stopping i will request you to see all this and give your comments till then i will stop thank you thank you very much